Yo, what is going on guys? It is AJ Fancy. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get higher FPS on Warzone. This is geared more specifically towards people that have a lower end PC such as mine. I'm rocking a 1050 Ti graphics card with 16 gigabyte RAM. Uh, the RAM is pretty good actually, but the graphics card could definitely be better. So what I've done right now is I'm just going to show you a before and after. So this is before we're going to change all the settings. You can see I'm running 35 FPS um, and this is with relatively high graphics settings for a low end uh, graphics card. So there you go, we're running 35 FPS. And if I just run around a little bit, you can see it's dropping down to around the low 30s. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and make the changes and we'll see a massive increase in that FPS. Let's go ahead and do that now. So before we start playing around with the graphics settings in Warzone, there is a few things you're gonna wanna do on your actual PC. So the first thing is to make sure your graphics card is up to date. So we're gonna go ahead and open GeForce because I have got an NVIDIA graphics card. Click on drivers and then you can click check for updates or download to download the latest driver. That is the first thing you wanna do, make sure your graphics card is up to date. The next thing we're gonna do is check the background apps because you do not want background apps running or at least you don't want too many of them running at the same time. So we just go ahead, type in background apps and it'll bring up this screen. If you do wanna disable all of them, then you can just go ahead and click this off and that will disable all the background apps so that your game runs much smoother. Or you can leave it on and go through and disable them one by one. For the sake of this tutorial, I will turn them all off so that we can get the maximum gain out of this. Moving on, the next thing you wanna do is go over to the Windows search bar and type in game mode settings and click on graphic settings. And now not every single PC is gonna have this, um, but if yours does, then make sure that your hardware accelerator GPU scheduling is turned on. If you don't have that setting, it's not such a big deal, but of course, if you do have it, then make sure it's turned on. The last thing you wanna change before you jump into the game and start changing the graphic settings on there is the display settings. So we're just gonna go ahead and right click, click on display settings, Scroll down to advanced display settings, uh, click on display adapter properties, then monitor and make sure that you have got your Hertz bumped up to the max. I know a lot of people actually don't know about this setting, but you can have a 144 Hertz uh, monitor, but this will always, well, normally will always set it to the lower end of the Hertz. So my one was set to 60 Hertz. My monitor is only 75 Hertz, so I bumped it back up. It'll make your game look a lot smoother than it already does. So now we're going to go ahead and hop into the game and we can change the actual graphic settings on there. Okay, we are back over here at Warzone on the graphic settings and probably the first thing you guys have noticed is that the VRAM usage is maxed out. This is due to high graphic settings on my low end graphics card. So we're going to start from the top here with display mode. Always make sure your display mode is set to full screen. This kind of cancels out uh, input lag. Screen refresh rate, make sure it's set to the same as what your monitor is. My monitor is 75, hence why it is set to 75. Render resolution should always be at 100. Aspect ratio automatic, sync every frame or vsync, disable that, not necessarily, it kind of messes with the game. Um, custom frame rate, never set it to unlimited. You should always have a custom frame rate. And what I like to do is set it to the exact same as the Hertz of my monitor. So again, we've set it to 75 for gameplay and then 40 when we're in the menu, just so we're not using up PC power for absolutely no reason. Nvidia highlights, disable this it is not necessarily, it just captures a bunch of random kills that you get you can still record your gameplay using the NVIDIA overlay. For NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, we're gonna play it on Enabled plus Boost. For Display Gamma, we're gonna leave it at 2.2. If you're on a TV, then 2.4 might be better for you, but since we're on a monitor, 2.2 is where we're gonna stay at. Streaming Quality, I'm gonna set this to load. Texture Resolution is a big one, as you'll see when I go down. The VRAM usage goes down drastically. So we're gonna bring this down to low so that we are below the spread line. Texture filter, anti-scope, we're gonna bring this down to normal. Particle quality, we're gonna bring this down to low. Uh, bullet impacts and sprays, we can leave that labeled. Tessellation, I like to leave that on all because otherwise you get this weird kind of smooth look when you're looking at certain um, surfaces and I'd rather it just didn't like that. If you do disable it, it will help with your FPS even more if you are willing to give up a bit more of your graphics. On-demand texture streaming, however, we do not need this, so we are gonna disable it. Shadow map resolutions is also one that just is not necessary. You can bring that right down to low or normal if you like. I'll leave it at low. Cache spot shadows and sun shadows. Make sure these are enabled. It does bring the VRAM usage up just a little bit, but it makes the game feel much smoother. Particle lighting will bring down to normal. Ambient occlusion, you can disable it. It's really not necessary. And screen space reflection SSR, we can disable that as well. Again, not necessary. Post processing effects. So filmic strength, bring it down to zero. Anti-aliasing, we're gonna bring this up to SMAA, T2X, and then depth of field disabled, world motion blur disabled, and weapon motion blur disabled. 
Film grain, leave it at zero. Dynamic resolution, you don't need this either to be honest. You can go ahead and disable that. Now we are going to apply the settings and we're going to jump into the game and we're going to see how much FPS we've gained from changing all these settings. Okay, so we're back in game now and it looks like we've only gained 5 FPS, but the reason why it's showing that we've only gained around 5 FPS because I am looking over the entire map and I mean, how often are you really going to be up here looking over the entire map? If I come down here and get into a more populated area, you can already see that the FPS is picking up uh, instead of dropping down like it was before to the 30s, it is going well up into the 50s as you can see there it's just jumped up to 50 and i'm going to just get into a more populated space so i can show you guys um how much gain you're gonna really be seeing when you're actually playing the game and not just looking over from uh from hills inside buildings we're getting around 50 53 it does drop down a little bit to around the mid 40s moving around but there you go i mean it is definitely a big increase imagine going from playing on like 35 to 30 fps and then jumping up to around 45 to 50 fps another thing to bear in mind is that i'm also obviously running software in the background in order to record this video which is also going to of course affect the frame rates of the game maybe not by too much but definitely by a little bit but that is it really for today's video guys that is how you can get a little bit of boost on your fps if you are running low end specs on your pc if you guys do know any better settings then please do let me know in the comment section below because i'm always looking to get a better gaming experience on my pc I'm sure everyone else watching this will also love to know. So any helpful comments in that aspect would be great. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and found some value in it. If you didn't, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications. Got a lot of content just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.